All right, we have head coach Steph Pasek here after a big game. Steph, uh, why don't you break down that uh, game? What did you think about today? Uh, I was hot. <laughs> so I, uh, I was uh, really impressed with our student athletes' conditioning. Uh, I think uh, Coach Brown and our strength people have uh, set them up for success. Uh, three and a half hours out there was uh, going to wear on anybody, and I thought you saw them tire a bit. You saw a bunch of injuries down the street, uh, down the stretch. Um, I think you didn't see as many on our side as, as theirs, and that I tip my hat to John Brown and the boys for, for that. Um, I thought our defense played uh, uh, four pretty sound quarters. I don't think they were ever uncomfortable, which was awesome. Um, our special teams continue to execute uh, the kicking game, uh, especially the field goals. Uh, we're kicking a lot of them, more than I would like, and that's where I, I think the one area, the score zone offense has got to be better. Uh, we uh, continue to get inside the 30 and walk away with field goals. So I, uh, that's to the naked eye. Got to see the film and break it down in more detail. Can't wait to do that. Uh, it's nice to be one on one. Just gonna ask, how does it feel to be uh, your first victory in the belts of the year? Uh, I kid with the, our student athletes that the, the sun is a little brighter, uh, your beverages are a little colder, uh, and the world's a little better uh, when you win a football game. And, and we've been working hard since August uh, uh, 12th, and this is our first win. So uh, that's three long weeks, and I'm glad they got some positive feedback for the, the effort that they're putting in. Great. Okay, we'll take questions on the floor. Yeah, and uh, Mike from 49 Sports. How are you doing, Mike? Um, yeah, so I guess now, obviously, you guys lost your season opener at Carl's and stuff. Um, how do you guys see the of like, um, working on that performance um, into this one in terms of things you got better at or how you progress from that, I guess? It's, uh, yeah, we're uh, in, in the OUA, if you don't get better every week, you got no chance. And so uh, the outcome of week one, certainly a sense of urgency. Uh, and we were grumpy and ornery at practice because uh, 0-1, after all the energy and work that went into training camp, was hard. Uh, to get uh, a victory is good. Um, there's still a whole bunch of things to clean up and get better at. Ottawa's a very good football team. You don't get to enjoy much in this in this uh, sport uh, with the next one looming so large. I do think we played a bit a, a more complete football game than we did, and, and we corrected a few things in Carleton. Uh, still work to do. Not a perfect showing by any stretch of the imagination, but happy uh, to the naked eye for for what happened. Yeah, and you mentioned the defense playing soundly for four quarters and stuff. Um, what particularly about the defense performance really kind of stood out to you, I guess? I, I feel like. Uh, I didn't see many white jerseys behind us. Everything was in front of us. We were rallying and making good tackles. Uh, I, I, we forced a bunch of fumbles. Uh, the 50-50 balls it, with our secondary, they didn't look like 50-50 balls. We came up with three picks. Um, uh, if you're attacking all the time, which Scott is, uh, it's very difficult not to have a few breakdowns and have things, guys wide open or get guys behind you. Uh, it's really fun to see that they can attack and everything stays in front of them, and it, it looks like high percentage football, and, and they're, they're rolling their sleeves up and pinning their ears back and going after everybody. So I, I thought that they're playing fast, and everything seems to be on their terms, not on the offense's terms. And, and I, thought, I thought York got some things. They were able to uh, hit some dump downs, hit some crossers, and do some things, but it, again, it was on our defense's terms, not on theirs. I, yeah, I feel like um, our, our guys in zones are very savvy, our secondary, and, and they were attacking the football and um, playing from depth, reading quarterback drops and, route, right, and routes and, and driving on footballs. And, and so um, a lot of those, they were the closest to the ball by several yards and, and were, I mean, they were seeing it really well. So I, I'm pretty happy with that. Again, we'll see the film and see what it looks like, but it, it felt like they were pretty much in control start to finish. And in terms of, I think, the first quarter or a bit into the second, um, you guys didn't get, in, like, a touchdown to the end zone kind of thing, and then the touchdown started to come kind of later on. Kind of how did that, um, like, how, how were you able to kind of adjust to that or kind of um, break through it? I, uh, I feel like we got issues and we got things we got to sort out. The red zone, we were, uh, well, again, we kicked a lot of field goals, it felt like. And uh, uh, I know uh, uh, Dre had two touchdown passes and Keegan got one at the end. Um, and that, that's uh, settling for field goals in competitive football games will hurt us. Um, and so that, that's a big thing we got to address. I feel like we did get some at the end, but uh, they, were, they were getting tired and worn down and they had to play on the, they had to be on the field a lot because our offense was 
to and outing them a lot. And so some of that is them being tired versus us executing at a higher level. And we just don't want to pat ourselves too much on the back. Uh, the 39 points that some of them coming late, uh, I, I feel like maybe a false positive and we, we got to do some things better so we're not settling for so many field goals early. Certainly in the Carlton game, the field goals cost us the outcome. Um, and so we got to score when we get inside the 30. Touchdowns, not field goals. And I guess just uh, lastly, Even with like I guess the coming week of practice and stuff, like like how do you approach kind of working at like working on the red zone offense from this performance? I guess I mean we'll we have our core stuff that we like to do. We have to uh, get a sound scouting report and, and have a good idea of uh, what they're doing in that those areas of the field uh, and try to put our student athletes in the highest probability of being successful. Uh, I feel like uh, York did a decent job mixing it up in that area, and and therefore we. Uh, uh, sometimes when we had man concepts, they were in zone and vice versa. Um, so they, they had a good coordinator on defense, and they, they did a good job of mixing it up. Um, if we're going to score touchdowns against Ottawa, we got to pin them down and, and get them a good idea what they do. We got to put a, put our student athletes in the best place possible, and then they got to go execute. Um, and all those things happen. Uh, it suddenly rains touchdowns, and things are great. Uh, and so uh, we got to find a way to elbow grease our, ourselves to that point. How do you build on momentum from a game like today and carry that through the rest of the season? I know it's still early. Yeah, uh, I think the quality of opponent coming and the competitiveness of the OUA makes that pretty easy. My, I can lead on my vets. They, they know uh, uh, what it's like to be 3-3 three and three and just miss the playoffs, and they don't want to ever live in that world again. Uh, there are some teams that are all pretty good, the Carltons, Lauriers, Ottawas, Guelphs uh, of the world, and we got to win our fair share of games in those battles. We've already dropped one. We cannot drop two. I don't think anyone's going to take this Ottawa game uh, lightly. It, it's, it's, uh, uh, it really um, puts us behind the eight ball to be one and two with some of the quality opponents we have coming. Um, and so it's, uh, it's too early to call it a do or die or a playoff game, but it's freaking important. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, guys. Oh. What's up? How's everyone? <laughs> I'm good. Oh, audio. Makes sense. All right. Here we go. Can you tell us a little bit of the game today? Um, you know. It, it's always good playing York, um, especially after a tough, tough loss last week um, against Carlton on the road. Um, we emphasized really defending our house and defending our home field. And we prepped really hard this week. We had a great week of practice. And um, we all just performed today. Our front played amazing. Our linebacker core played amazing. Our DB core played amazing. Um, our offense played great today. And it was just overall a great experience today. And as a defensive unit, uh, talk about getting your first victory. Um, it, it's, it's, it, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, we all know how good we can be if we all try hard enough, like really, really hard and work together and communicate. And I think today as a defensive unit, we were definitely like great with communication and everything because we didn't allow any points on defense. Uh, we gave up a rouge on a field goal. So... It is what it is. We didn't get the shutout, but we're, we're aiming for more shutouts. But as a defensive unit, I can ask for a different group to play with. Okay, thank you. We'll take questions from the floor. Uh, Michael from uh, Fortnite Sports. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet um, you. Yeah, so in terms of you know, the, the interceptions you had and you know, the team had overall, I guess, in terms of what do you guys feel like you did really well in terms of with those interceptions, in terms of getting those interceptions? Um, I th it's all film study. All film study. We. We prepped really hard. Every, every single one of our starters probably had over five hours of film this week, and we, we just prepped really hard. Our D-line played amazing, so the quarterback wanted to roll out. Our D-line forced them to make some tough decisions, and luckily they went our way, and we got uh, interceptions. So shout out to our D-line and our linebacker core, because none of those interceptions would have happened without them. What are the certain things that kind of 
even heading into this game, right, kind of that you see from the film that, that helps you kind of, helps the defense kind of make plays? Um, so we recognize formations and, like, uh, certain down and distances. Like, if it's, like, second and short, we know what to expect. If it's second and long and they come out in a certain formation, we know what to expect. Um, and we just really emphasized watching films, saying it out loud, like, on our own, together. Like, we all come in early and meet before meetings, like, as a unit. So our, our prep there was just amazing this week. And here's in terms of, um, with that and with the communication aspect, kind of, like, um, how do you guys kind of, like, um, continue that or build up on that in um, we just got to keep the momentum going. Uh, we know what we're capable of. We, we just had a tough one on the road, like very tough one against Carlton. Um, and I think that motivated a lot of us. And we just wanted to make a statement. And I think we made a, a great statement today. Um, and yeah, we just can, I, I don't know, I just couldn't ask for a different group to play with. <laughs> I'm just grateful for them. Um, we all had to understand that we all had to do our own job and do, like, trust everyone around us. I think coming in week one, we, we knew what to expect with Carlton, but as soon as they scored on us, we were kind of in shock. Like, we're just like, damn, someone scored on our defense. And that really hit us, and it just changed the momentum for us. And it's like, we started, like, not trusting one another once that happened, and I believe that this, we really emphasized it afterwards, like we all have to do our job because the guys around us are gonna pursue and do their own job as well. And if I can do my job and all 11 other players are doing their job, we're gonna have a fantastic day on defense and that's exactly what happened today. That one point stink? I just gotta ask you. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Like the one point, like seeing that, I was just like, really? Like really? Like I, it, it was tough. It was tough, but it's all good. Like, we just have to score a shutout next week. That's it. We just have to play better than we did the week before, every single week. Ted, questions? No, I just came in for a second to see what's going on. Actually, we, we talked about your play in the first game, and we talked Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't say I think every single team in this league is capable of beating each other. I think York has a bunch of crazy athletes. They they're all super fast, they're all great wide receivers and what's not. But I think what really stung us is the fact that we gave up a passing touchdown and as a DB core we collectively got together and said like we need to improve. We need to communicate better. Because I, I know last week I, I probably had my worst defensive game ever, like ever. So I was like very disappointed in myself. And I used that as motivation. And I kept on pushing, pushing, pushing in practice, taking it, showing up early, like early doing my own, like my own warm up, starting getting going, talking to the younger guys, making sure they know their jobs. And um, yeah, it was, we just used motivation from last week, really. Yeah. Um, no, nah, I wouldn't say that. I think I just, there was some points I just got selfish, I feel. Uh, I didn't do my responsibility and I wanted to make a play. And I, especially when we were down, once they scored on us, we went down. And I'm just like, okay, I need to make a play. But I need to, under, I also had to understand that I don't have to make every single play because there's 11 other guys beside me who can make all those plays. As long as I do my job, I know those 11 guys will do their job. No Thank worries. You. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we have a quarterback. Great game. Uh, why don't you talk about the victory first, and then we'll break down your personal play. Uh, it feels good. It feels good to win. Um, I, obviously, after a tough loss last week, um, just getting a win under us and, and being able to obviously things clean up like always. But uh, 
it just it feels good to be able to get a win and, and build get some momentum going uh, on the season uh, finally. So yeah, I know it feels good. I think you finished with uh, is it here? sorry uh, three hundred thirty eight yards. Talk about your personal game today. Uh, well, yeah, we like we thought their uh, their secondary is pretty weak this week, so we wanted to really attack them. And uh, and uh, I mean, we had the, we have the guys, we right. We just wanted to get the ball out and be able to let them go make plays. So it's kind of it's kind of what we did. In the first quarter, you, it looked like you were a little slow coming out of the gate, and you kind of recovered nicely in the second half. So talk a little bit about that. Uh, yeah, I mean, sometimes it just takes a bit, right, to settle into the game, but. Uh, yeah, we finally, you know, we started started to get, get rolling and you kind of build that momentum, get a feel, you get into it a little bit and it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's good. Okay, we'll take questions on the floor. Ed? First down production this week versus last week. You guys had 12 and 13 first downs last week. You had uh, almost that in the first half. Football getting real basic 101. First down production is key and I thought what you guys did, you got positive yardage as opposed to what happened last week. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Uh, I think we put ourselves in too many second and long situations last week. Um, so being able to win first down uh, was, was definitely something that we wanted to put a lot of emphasis on this week. Um, so I think that helped us. We'll talk about number seven getting open a lot with the one touchdown that got called back. But every time we watch this kid play, he's amazing. Yeah, he's legit. He's legit. He's uh, the, yeah, he's a Hamilton guy. He played at UBC for a couple of years, but he's legit. He, it's... Huge, huge having him around. Um, yeah, we got to get him the ball. He's a good, big time playmaker, 100%. Nice to see. We saw some guys in the second half get the ball uh, that we haven't seen play yet because you didn't trust all of them last week at Carlton. But your running game, especially in the second half with the young guys, um, some pretty impressive head turning there. Yeah, 100. percent We gotta we gotta be able to you know be a multifaceted team and uh, be able to run the ball, throw the ball, uh, and so I think yeah I think we ran the ball pretty well, uh, especially in the second half, and uh, yeah it was it was good. Yeah, Michael from Fortnite Sports. Um, yeah, so in terms of I mean, losing the first week one against Charles and then you know, winning today, I guess in terms of what do you feel like the team overall kind of really learned from that game that, and, and took into this? Well, really what we wanted to do this week was clean ourselves up. Like we made a lot of far too many mental errors last week and I think that's what cost us a game. Um, so this week we really just wanted to clean ourselves up, make sure we, you know, we didn't beat ourselves and we were able to go out there and just execute and, and be in the right spots, make the right plays and, and, uh, and not, not beat ourselves. That was kind of our focus this week. So uh, I, think we, I think we accomplished that to uh, maybe not to the extent we would have liked. Obviously there's always things that we can clean up, but um, yeah, definitely a good, uh, good bounce back game. Yeah, so honestly, I mean, it, it's it's about reps. It's about just focusing and locking in in practice. Obviously, there's, there are a few, like, there's some, we got some new guys on offense, and we got to, uh, we got to just be able to clean up stuff and, like, and know exactly where everyone's going to be on every play. Uh, and, uh, and I think, like just just locking in at practice and being holding guys like more accountable in film uh, and that kind of thing uh, definitely is is how you approach that uh, that challenge. And I know in terms of what you were talking about earlier, you talking about kind of you know, red zone stuff in terms of how do you feel you guys kind of did in terms of like uh, red zone like uh, execution production? Well, we sh obviously, I mean, we didn't score any touchdowns till like, what the end of the first half, I think. So we got like. That's that's obviously not good enough. Um, we got to be better in that area of the field. Um, I think it, I don't know what I don't know what exactly it was. It's got to watch the film to kind of figure it out. Uh, obviously, we struggled there last week as well. So um, I think you know it could just be a case of getting the monkey off our back, right? Getting the first one of the season on offense. Um, we kind of we we did much better after we got the first. So could be it could be that um, I think we obviously it's uh, like you know execution you always got to ma make sure we're executing on every play and and especially in the red zone I mean there's no room for error on offense so you got to be you got to be dialed in and you got to yeah so we'll see you got to watch the film but yeah
And I guess lastly for me in terms of um, just in this, this, the, the, the performance of the team overall kind of thing, what can you guys kind of take into your next team again? Uh, just some momentum, uh, getting you know, getting more reps underneath us as a as a group on offense, being able to get more chemistry together, uh, and just knowing where guys are going to be and, and building that chemistry, I think is huge. Uh, and just being able to kind of get on a roll, and we're like going into Ottawa, we just got to keep the momentum going, um, continue to tighten things up, um, get more like. Get, continue to get reps with everyone and just make sure like we are we got to lock in and we got to play a great game against Ottawa because it's gonna be a tough team. Thank you. Anyone else? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.